students i hope you doing great so in this video we are going to do work on oxford countdown book 5 third edition so now let's get started let me show you the page the page is 77 chapter is decimals and percentages and the exercise that we are doing is exercise 4b and the question in this video we are doing is question number 4 so now let's get started let me read the question number 4 the question number 4 is find the product of the following so we got to find the product of the numbers that they give us okay so but in multiply method method because it all of them has a multiply sign and multiply sign is across okay so we are going to do these questions okay but we are only doing two parts because they all are long but some of them are small that's why i'm just doing a and b for today i will do all of them in the coming up videos for now let's just do part a and b so now let's get started the first part is very simple and easy it is 2.41 multiplied by 3 we are going to multiply it by 3 okay let me show you how first you write 2 then you write the point then you write 4 and then you write 1 okay and then you multiply it by 3 you write the multiply sign and then you write 3 okay it's not important that you should write always the multiply sign first you could write the number 2 but remember to put the multiply sign or else your number will be wrong okay so it is very simple and easy let me show you why it is so simple and so easy as you know that in multiply when you count like 30 r0 31 r3 32 r6 you do the same method in these ones but these ones have just you know that you got to multiply these numbers with these ones okay so now let's get started so let me show you how 31 r what 3 good then the next one is 34 r 12 so two here and then one carry goes to two okay next part is a little important you put this point right here if you not put the point your whole whole number is going to get crossed okay demolished no more numbers everything crosses okay so remember to put this point the point is more important than anything so then you go to the next number which is 2 3 2 are what 6 in 6 when you add 1 how many you get 7 so this is our answer and you're thinking that why isn't there adding addition in it because it has no other number it is have another number like this one has 2 and 2 should be here then we are going to do you know the addition but since there is not this is going to be our answer okay this is our answer okay and let's go to our second part now which is part b i also write the part up here so the part b in 7.90 multiply by 23 okay so what are we going to do in this one is we are going to do the same method but only we are doing in this one is addition okay let me show you how are you doing addition in this one first you write 7 then you put this point point is important then you put 9 then you put 0 little not closely little you know have been space so your all questions or i mean all numbers fit in the one okay and now you are going to multiply it by 23 let me show you how first you write 3 under 0 then you write 2 under 9 okay and then you put the cross sign under 7 and now you do it so in the same method you do it okay like this that 30 are what 0 39 are what 27 so 7 goes here 
and then the point comes and then two goes here okay and then you multiply three with seven three seven are what 21 in 21 when you add 2 you get 23 so 3 goes here and 2 goes here now let me show you how the next part will be you put a cross here because you know why because there is the 3 number is complete you don't do it anymore that's why okay you can also put a like this num circle and then cross it like this and also this number too so you remember that you did the carry and everything let's go to that so what is two zero r zero and then two nine are what 18 now there is a little difference in 18 you see there's a point and you don't want it to write under the point you know so you skip the point and go here okay so 8 then comes here it was 18 right and then you know what you do you put one carry here okay in then you do 27 or what 14 in 14 when you add 1 you get 15 so 5 goes here 1 goes there okay now what are you going to do it now this one you're going to add but there are two ways okay you can do any way it's your own choice in this one you do addition but there are two ways of addition let me show you this one first so there is no number down here so we're just going to write zero straight and seven is up but there's no number that you can add it with so the seven here and you important always put the point here or else your whole number is cross and and in 8 when you add 3 how many you get 11 so one goes here and another one comes there in 5 when you add 2 you get 7 in 7 when you add 1 you get 8 and the last but at least 1 okay so this is our answer there you go. Remember, this is our answer. So, yes, this is our answer. Let me show you the other one that is an example. But it's better if you do this one. I'm just giving you an example. If you did it in the point number that you put the 8 number in point, what will happen? Let me show you. If you put 8 right here, what will happen? Because this is your right answer. What will happen if you put 8 under point? Let's see. I'm not doing the top one. I'm just writing these ones, okay? Example, 2. Then you write 3. Then you write point. Then you write 7. And then you know what did you do? You write the other number. First you put a cross, then you write 0 here, in under the point if you write 8, then 5, and then 1, okay. I'm sorry I'd like to write it a little small, I'm sorry about that, but I'm just telling you. So 0, you know, these two are same in every single way. 8 is coming here, in 5, when you add 3, it is also 8, in 2, when you do... 1 in 2 when you add 1 it is 3 okay and this is wrong this answer is I'm sorry, answer is wrong okay so this answer is not right you never ever should do this way okay always do after the point okay if you do it in the point this will be your answer or if you're doing another part the answer will be also wrong so always do after the point not under the point okay so yes this is for today and i hope you like the video please like and subscribe to my channel okay bye see you in the coming up videos